What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at BlueStacks. Now for you guys who don't have an Android box or Android phone, but you're looking to do some APKs, uh, you know, of games or apps, you know, whether it be streaming or whatever, and you have the system in order to run this, you don't need anything powerful, but you do need something with some decent specs. And you also have options to kind of help you make the simulator a little better. Now, I know there is an Ox and uh, Nemu uh, and Andy, all these other emulators. But so far, BlueStacks seems to have everything you're gonna want, plus a tweak tool that has been developed by somebody over at XDA. So I'm gonna go over the settings of BlueStacks. So when you first download this, it's not rooted or anything like that. You are able to root this, okay? But you do have some settings that you're gonna to wanna to tweak. Now, if you notice that your games, some games are laggy uh, and stuff like that, okay, and you've switched this to 1080, try putting it to 720, running these two uh, may cause some games in your browsers to lag like hell. Uh, your DPI, you're going to want to, you know, play with this uh, 240 and 720 seems to be a good, good range. Again, some games may lag, some games may not. Now you have the engine here, so you can set the amount of cores and RAM that the blue stacks can use. I would advise you to put this up to max. And you also have the option for DirectX or OpenGL. Um, but as you can see here, OpenGL works better than DirectX in this version. Switch to OpenGL for better performance and game compatibility. Okay. So we're gonna keep that on OpenGL. You have a boss key, notifications, preferences, backup, restore, and update, okay? Really nothing to it. When you download this, you're not gonna have anything but this little icon here. You can go to the Play Store. You can grab whatever you're going to grab, okay? You may have another tab here that tells you uh, apps and stuff. It's the BlueStacks app store that you can actually use to uh, grab stuff, okay? So I'm just going to put that out there. I actually got this removed using this tool that I'm going to mention right now. So as I said, when you download this, it's not going to be rooted. So if you're looking to do Lucky Pasher and do some other root stuff, you're going to need BlueStacks Tweaker, which you can get from here. I'll leave the link for BlueStacks and for this. Okay. So when you download this, you may have to start or kill uh, BlueStacks in order to apply some of these settings. So as you can see here, you can configure the phone to be the Pixel, the S8, whatever it may be. Uh, it will emulate this. So if you can't download something from the Play Store, switch it up, apply it, restart BlueStacks, and see if it will allow you to download that app. If you don't want to do that, you can also use APK Pure, APK Mirror, uh, Android DC, or DC Store, I think it's called. I have a video. I'll leave that video below. Uh, and it has a pile of links on the description for you to use other ways to grab games and stuff like that if the Play Store won't allow you to. You have resolution DPI memory settings here, so you can up this more than what it actually uh, shows. Okay, you have helper. This is where you can patch it for root and install Super uh, SU, as you can see here. You have utilities, so you can mess with stuff with memory. You have OEM, okay. So this is the thing, you'll have a thing that says App Center, but uh, I have uh, these all tweaked. You have FM, and then you also have a belt. So this will check for updates, so on and so forth. And pretty much, there you go. You could start loading up your games, or if you wanted to do STB EMU, you could do that. And as you can see, when you go into games, you're gonna get this, okay? I don't know if you noticed, but when you go here, it's not here. Some of these emulators have 20 million buttons and it can be confusing to people who are new to this. Now, as you can see, I'm not in full screen. You do have the option for it. You have the option for a keyboard, okay? Um, you can do shooters and stuff like that. Some of them will automatically have profiles, so you may need to uh, you know, change the keybinds to something that uh, you may be used to. Some games won't have anything and you may need to set it up. So thankfully you can pull this up in any window if you're on a shooter or whatever and you need to drop down this, okay? You can even make this wider by clicking here or bigger, I mean, okay? So you have the option to fine tune this. You have uh, 
drag and move keys you have swipe so everything you would need to activate uh, stuff that would pop up that you can't activate with your mouse okay so we're not going to save this uh, sometimes when hitting the keyboard it will make this window not go uh, it will go all messed up you also have the option that if you're wanting to keep that that thing toggled so as you can see there's a swipe up uh, button right there and if you have all these key bindings this will help you until you fully memorize memorize them so then you can just turn the opacity off completely okay um i don't know why that swipe is staying there you have full screen which is what most of you guys are going to want to run your games on as you can see this ain't 100 percent clear but if you were to switch this to 1080 it will clean up the image okay some games also have settings where you can mess with that you have set location take screenshot and uh, shake so i can emulate a shake so for now i'll switch this to 1080 so you guys can see it does clean up the image you may not notice it notice it on games like clash of clans uh, but you will on like pixel gun and or you know um PUBG, you know, Shadow Legends, and stuff like that. You're going to notice a difference when you run it on the 1080 screen res to running it not on that. Okay, so like Shadow Gun Legends, as I said, um, I don't know why. There we go. Okay. Now, I am recording and I do have a browser open with a bit of tabs, as you saw. I had more, but I closed them, so if it does lag, uh, it's because I got a lot of stuff going on, okay? Now, the cool thing about this is, is when you're on a shooter game, you can actually activate and deactivate the mouse to do some clicking around. Uh, there's some games where, you, you gotta remember, right? They're emulating a touch device, okay? And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, some games will have three or four things for you to click on now to program three or four different buttons each time For when you go and talk to people is going to be a pain in the ass Okay, no matter what you look as you saw there was a gear gear there that popped up okay. okay, my mouse is being a little retarded right now. Let me see something. There we go. Okay. My mail software. But anyhow, as you can see, there's a button here. So you can program this to a hotkey. But then you need to program these. And sometimes there may be five options. So it's useless to program this where you could just use the mouse, navigate, do what you need to, back out. You right click. And the cursor disappears, allowing you to move around in the game. But if I pull up this, oops, as you can see, here's all those UI uh, elements that I was telling you about. Okay, so you got move mouse, seven, E, F. Okay, you got these other ones here. Um, this is something that can help you, right? So if you're not used to seeing all this stuff, then there you go. You can clear it out. Now, obviously, because of me recording, I think it has glitched it up a bit, which is why they're still stuck on the screen, okay? But, it, it, again, it, it's pretty nice. And then, like I said, you can fine-tune the settings in the game if you notice that you're getting lag, and it's not because of blue stacks. Put it to, you know, 30 frames, put it to high, put it to low, put it to whatever you want to put it to. Um, it can change your, uh, you know, experience in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's a pretty nice emulator. Again, you're seeing this because of the recording. I think it has glitched and caused it to stay up. Um, or it's because of everything running. I have used this um, to actually record gameplay uh, on my old channel that I used and it didn't glitch up. So it's just because everything I have running right now, I could be causing this, um, but it shouldn't happen for you. So I do hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you're looking for something uh, that can do Android games, APKs, stuff like that without any, you know, major, major lag, 
Uh, check out Blue Stacks again. Both links will be below for Blue Stacks and Blue Tweaker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in May Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,